climate change in Cuba. Cuba is an island located between the Caribbean Sea and North Atlantic Ocean. Cubans experience a mild subtropical climate with an average annual temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter in Cuba is fairly warm, with an average temperature of 70 degrees. 60% of Cuba's rainfall occurs from May to October. Cuba is governed by the Communist Party of Cuba. Over 11 million people live in Cuba, with 77% of the population living in urban areas. Just like countries all over the world, climate change is putting Cuba at risk. Cuba currently faces challenges such as soil degradation, droughts, coastal flooding, receding coastlines, higher temperatures, more frequent hurricanes, and sea level rise. Coastlines are receding at a rate of 1.2 miles per year. Soil has higher acidity and salinity, and the frequency of years of moderate and severe droughts doubled between 1961 and 1999. As an island nation, Cuba is especially susceptible to sea level rise. Sea level rise has increased on the island an average of 6.77 centimeters since 1966. Storms cause rising seas to move further inland, which contaminates coastal aquifers and crops. The future predicts further sea level, in sea level increase. Average sea level increase could reach 27 centimeters by 2050 and 85 centimeters by 2100. Cuba's Ministry of Science, Technology, and Environment predict that seawater contamination will impact 24,000 square kilometers of land in this century. Several percent of Cuban land would be underwater. Other future problems due to climate change are stronger hurricanes, increase in forest fires, more climate-sensitive diseases, decrease in biodiversity, and, increase, and an increase in intensity of Cuba's current problems. Fortunately, Cuba has taken measures to combat climate change. In 2008, environmental protection spending increased from 41.9 million pesos to 335.6 million pesos. There has been no new construction of residential housing, factories, or hotels in low-lying zones. Cuba has also started resettling communities that are located in fragile areas. The Ministry of Agriculture has been replanting mangroves and replenishing sand to reduce coastal erosion. 103 studies have been conducted on the risks related to weather and precipitation, including the impacts of heavy rain, high winds, and coastal flooding. Coastal management programs have been put into place to preserve vulnerable coastal ecosystems, and Cuba has also increased environmental education. Today Evita, or the LIFE project, is Cuba's most recent project which was approved in 2017. It includes several tasks, some of them being banning construction of new homes in threatened coastal areas, relocating communities in danger of rising sea levels, shifting of crop production away from saltwater contaminated areas, restoring degraded, degraded, degraded coastal habitats, efficient use of water to confront droughts, restoring and protecting coast, coast coral reefs, reforestation and recovering of mangroves, and strengthening monitoring systems monitoring systems to better evaluate the condition of coastal zones, forests, human health, etc., and improving water infrastructure. This project was moving slowly, but after Hurricane Irma, the Cuban government realized action had to be taken more quickly. Cuba approached overseas donors for help funding this project. Italy pledged $3.4 million in November of 2017. Today, Avita includes short, medium, and long-term plans for Cuba, and hopefully, Cuba will be successful in completing these goals.